Nigerian exporters are to benefit from a 50 billion naira program. It's part of government's economic sustainability plan uh, to promote non-oil exports. Wemimo Lale reports. Shifting gears. The Nigerian government is trying to move the economy away from its dependence on oil. They're promoting the production of non-oil goods and have launched a new export expansion facility. 50 billion naira is being provided to support exporters of locally produced goods. The export expansion facility gives impetus to our work on moving the economy of the country away from mainly depending on oil towards making non-oil exports a major contributor to the country's foreign exchange. To implement the 50 billion export expansion facility under the federal government of Nigeria's 2.3 trillion economic sustainability plan. The non-oil export growth is at the center of the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment Strategy for diversifying Nigeria's source of foreign exchange and reducing the vulnerability of the economy to external shocks. As part of the funding for the program, an export development fund has also been launched. It will allow small exporting companies to grow and create jobs. With the MSMEs as the target group and possible beneficiaries, the import of this cannot be overemphasized in view of the significance of MSMEs and the critical role they play in the Nigerian economy. It should signpost the beginning of genuine and direct government support for export of made in Nigerian products. This is more so that we have commenced trading under the AFCFTA and what is paramount under this agreement is the fact that Africa must trade in products that are made in Africa. The government aims to use this platform to boost local production, diversify the economy and earn more money. Wemimo Laleye, Arise News. Okay, let's get more on this with uh, Shegun Ajayi, the Director General of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria. Uh, Mr. Jai, good to have you on News Night. Let's start from uh, what is said to be the kind of money that is being mentioned, 50 billion to encourage non-oil export. Does that sound like good music to your ears? Yes, thank you for having me on this program. It does sound like music in my ears because uh, for more than uh, 35 years, we've had the act that will have enabled the establishment of the fund. But we are having it being materialized uh, today, which is an indication that government is practically and directly supporting export, non-oil export. As you are aware, Nigeria's discovery of oil has been seen by many as a cause because it actually took our attention away from those products, those goods, those items that have sustained our economy before we, we discovered oil. So I think this is a new initiative. Uh, it is coming at a time also that we are entering into African Continental Free Trade Agreement. So this should help us to boost our export and it should create avenue especially for small and medium scale industries and enterprises who are looking forward to export. Those challenges that they are facing, they are particularly what this fund is uh, meant to assuage. So I think it is music to my ears, it is music to the ears of uh, all business people that are oriented towards export. And how much would you say in terms of Naira and Kobo and much more uh, to you know Nigeria with this focus on non-oil uh, exports and what do you think are the obstacles really that make it so difficult uh, for Nigeria to you know uh, walk the talk as far as non-oil exports is concerned? Well historically we have always felt that uh, oil is enough. Oil can take care of our needs but the volatile nature of trading oil internationally has taught us otherwise. So in terms of uh, the obstacles that we face, there are those things that government have neglected to do because we were drunken with the oil money. Now it is drying up 
And so the infrastructure that we didn't develop, the value chain that we didn't develop along the oil uh, sector, the fact that we have neglected to make policies that will facilitate competitiveness, because competitiveness is key to export. It's not just to take your goods and take them abroad. You must be able to displace those goods in the countries you are exporting. So it must be competitive for you to be able to benefit from export. So there are generally the supply side constraints and the macroeconomic uh, inadequacies that has been bedeviled the Nigerian economy. They are the ones that uh, have limited our capacity to export. But in practical terms, and especially for SMEs, they need to be aware of what opportunities are available in foreign markets. They need to be helped with packaging. They need to be helped with access to funds. They need to be helped with uh, intelligence about what happens in other markets. They need to know the rules and regulations that uh, govern international trade. They need to be able to, uh, to convert their currencies. They need to be assured and be informed about the logistics that is available to move their goods from one point to the other. So these are the issues. They need their products need to be exposed. For instance, the EDF is poised to take an active part in the uh, intra-African trade fair that is scheduled to take place in uh, Rwanda, uh, Kigali in Rwanda, uh, later in the year. This will expose the products, especially of uh, SMEs and also big companies outside of Nigeria uh, and inside of Africa. So, I mean, those are the challenges that the funds uh, that is being earmarked to promote export will help to assure. Very quickly then, um, the thought among some critics who have seen this and online, the comments that some of them are making is, 50, 25 billion, 50 billion naira is a drop in the ocean. Uh, would you agree with them, especially when you consider the fact that uh, most of the things that we would have said we want to export will be produced and so on? In terms of proper manufacturing, what are the things that are ready for export that we manufacture in terms of the value chain? We've exhausted it and is ready to go. Well, as the Holy Book says, you shouldn't relate to uh, the little beginnings. I think uh, it will appear to be a drop in the ocean, but you'll be surprised as to how inexpensive the support that small and medium scale industries can receive to boost their exports. We are not going to create new industries, and we are not going to help people to establish factories. What we want to do is to remove the and limitations. What we want to do is to uh, remove those impediments that uh, even though they had the capacity to export have continued to limit their competitiveness and their reach out of, outside of our borders. So, uh, and we also hope that uh, if government sees the impact of this uh, little beginning, they will be encouraged to support uh, further allocation of funds. I mean, this is... What about, very, um, very quickly, is because we're, we're pressed for time, what about our manufacturing uh, capacity? How do you even take care of that uh, to meet this export drive? Well, uh, it's a challenge. Manufacturing capacity has been uh, low. And in the last uh, quarters from our uh, uh, MCCI, we reported that we are suffering a setback. But all taken together, I mean, we should make the best use of the environment in, in which we have. And there are some manufacturing sectors, especially food and beverage, uh, that are recording a reasonable improvement in terms of their output. So we should be able to, uh, within the confines of uh, AFCFT, and despite the constraints that we have, we should be able to uh, make some uh, exports that will open the floodgate for others to follow. All right, that's a good and optimistic place uh, to live in. Thank you very much, Shagun is DG Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, man.